If it bleeds, it leads. It's an old saying in the news media. It basically means violence equals ratings. So if you're putting together a newscast, you put the violence at the top. Funny then how that same media just loves to point fingers when violence happens. In fact, that's a perfect example of media reflecting society. I mean, it's never our fault, you know? It's not light parenting, it's heavy music. It's not violent people, it's violent video games. Hey, this ain't the police, dog. This some ballers bullshit. Nigga, that's some bullshit. You. Hey, we been set up, nigga. This shit fucked fuck up. You, fuck nigga. you, nigga. Fuck this shit. Oh, bitch-ass ballers. On the other hand, you have to admit, video games don't do themselves any favors, you know? I mean, there are innocent victims, but in this game, they're usually being run over by cars. They're easy targets. And then there's Grand Theft Auto. Got any antivirus software? I think so. Behind this junk on the left. Clicked an NSFW link, bro. You had that opportunity! Grand Theft Auto V is just a, a conundrum of a thing. It's a thing that really thinks it's something profound, and it expresses that by letting you tow plastic cars and touch plastic tits. It's a thing people defend from critics right after slaughtering their 18th police squadron. Fucking die, all of you! So in a way, it's a fitting thing. It's fitting that a game so critical of modern society would have so much in common with that society. Assign blame, but don't worry much about your own responsibility. Criticize everything, even if you don't have a point. It's like, Grand Theft Auto V is like the interactive equivalent of an internet troll. It has boatloads of snark and about enough ideas to fit on a jet ski. Thing is, jet skis are a pretty fucking good time. So for obvious reasons, there's a lot of hype over this thing. And that hype is both deserved... Fuck you, Michael, go away! I'm paying that turd 150 bucks an hour to fuck my wife! ...and overblown. I mean, beneath all the sex and violence and grand theft autoness, there's just more grand theft autoness. It's the same open world celebration of depravity that it's always been. Lots of driving, lots of shooting, a little tennis... Look at that! ...and alien invasions caused by bad pot. Maybe good pot, depending on your preference. STAY AWAY FROM ME! See, it's less a video game than a toy box for your innermost hedonistic desires. You're free to do whatever you want, wherever you want, with whomever you want. Un unrestricted freedom, that's the driving point of GTA V. Of course, that's the only point of GTA V, but to its credit, it really does try to be more. You play as three very different people, with very different backgrounds, and unexpected parallels. In fact, that's the most interesting thing about GTA V. Franklin's this young thug who dreams of something bigger, but doesn't even know what that might be. Trevor is this deranged sociopath, as well as a former friend of Michael, who's a middle-aged ex-criminal with lots of money, even more regrets, and a broken family. And he'd fix things, but he has no idea how. And a shrink isn't much help. I'm miserable. I mean, half the time my kids can't stand me, the other half, my wife is cheating on me. I kill people without remorse, Doc. Hell, I'm pretty average for this town, really. Hey, wait a minute, that's the shot. I, I, I think I'm having a breakthrough here, Doc. This, this, I think, no, no, I know that I'm just terrified that I'm I'm sure gonna... you are, but that's really all we have time for. You know, it, it's a weird juxtaposition. I mean, you swap back and forth between these interesting, interconnected characters who drive this rich story with great writing. It's those moments when GTA V really is the smart game it thinks it is. And how does the gameplay contribute? Oh, you know, it'd shoot people, steal cars, run from the cops. I mean, don't get me wrong, GTA V is a bigger and prettier GTA on a scale that is genuinely stunning. But on the other hand, it's still just a bigger and prettier GTA. Which is ironic, given how much the game criticizes other games for being pretty much the same as the last game. The fuck you doing? Nothing. Really? Because I keep hearing a math for that this, a cop that. Go away. What? You know, go watch your linear entertainment. Go watch porn. Just go away. Shit. Fuck you! What the fuck? Now, to the game's credit, while one is definitely more interesting than the other, 
The gameplay and the story have a brilliant contrast in terms of tone, and to me, that's when the game felt special. So, for example, you know, Michael is this broken man, genuinely trying to fix his relationship with his kids by swimming out to his daughter, tossing some guy off the boat, and then escaping on a stolen jet ski. So yeah, you know, the gameplay is mostly familiar, but in GTA V, there's always this great dynamic between what you're doing and why you're doing it. That contrast of placing the game's trademark excess within the context of everyday domesticated situations, that's when GTA V is really onto something brilliant. How about I just drive us home? You ruined my life! Brilliant. You know, a lot of people will tell you this thing is just that. Brilliant. In a lot of ways, they're right. The writing, the characters, this huge, dynamic setting. Brilliant. But to me, the idea has always been more brilliant than the product. I mean, to me, Grand Theft Auto is like, it's like the boardwalk of video games. You know, there are a lot of places that do this stuff better, but the boardwalk brings them all together in one place with hot chicks everywhere. Make a bigger boardwalk, multiply the games, and add hotter chicks. And that's Grand Theft Auto V.